Hi guys and welcome to another quick video on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today what I'm going to do is show you how you can set up a landing scenario for quick practice over and over and over again. Obviously landing is probably the most exciting point of any flight and you want to get it right. In real life pilots will uh, practice touch and goes at an airport but this means flying a traffic pattern which is time consuming. We've got the luxury here of a simulator meaning that you can practice your landings over and over and over again without having to fly that full traffic pattern and I'm going to show you how to set that up. So pick any airport of your choice. I'm going to pick my home airport here, so Manchester, and instead of clicking on Manchester, instead just go to the drop down menu and either type it in or if it's already one of the uh, pre-selected ones, you can click that. Make sure it's obviously only on the arrival that you are clicking this. Don't click the, uh, don't touch the from. Leave that to set that up all on its own. And you can see once you've set your arrival airport it's already predetermined a distance out from the airport and you're already aligned with the runway now i'm just going to change the runway to uh, two three right actually because two three left doesn't have an ILS but that now is set up to start you out 11 miles out lined up with the runway here at manchester and you can obviously change the aircraft i'm going to leave that as my a320 neo for easyjet and just for now i'm just going to turn everything off including the weather just have clear skies and of course you can change the time of day as well so middle of the day close that and hit fly now while that loads the one thing you want to remember is that this is automatically going to put your plane now in the landing config mode so if you're flying the Airbus, which is what we're about to do here, if you're on the default Airbus and not the fly-by-wire mod, everything's already set up in landing mode for you. And uh, yeah, so all the flaps are down and the spoilers are armed, the landing lights are on, you basically don't have to do anything. With the fly-by-wire uh, fly mod, uh, it's a little bit different just because the fly-by-wire mod, the landing mode, isn't sort of prepped in the same way as it is for the default aircraft. But it doesn't make much difference, and you'll see that in a moment once we get into the, uh, into the cockpit. But the first thing you do need to do once you get into the cockpit is just hit the pause button. This does have to be the active pause button and I'll show you why in a moment because we need to just set a couple of things up in the cockpit. You can't do that when you press escape. I know a lot of people don't like the active pause because once you come off that the aircraft seems to go haywire a little bit but you're not going to be on active pause for very long. Whilst this is loading, make sure that if you've got any uh, uh, any flap levers or any control devices, etc., make sure that they're already set up so your flaps are fully down. And there we go, look, we're loading a nice clear sky. So, let's see, and you can see the get landing gears down as well. So, here, ready to fly. And you're yeah, just going to hit active pause. So you can hear air traffic control talking to us. We can quickly change that because that will annoy us. So if you want to practice your ILS landings, then go into the flight plan, select your destination and select your ILS runway that you're going to land at, just as you would for any other approach. So that's now all selected in. The other thing you need to do is just finish configuring the aircraft for landing. So flight director on, turn on the landing system, and you can see here the auto throttle, no autopilot, and pop your throttles where they should be, in the climb detent, autopilot one, approach mode on, and then turn off active pause. And the aircraft will now fly a full ILS approach into the runway that you've told it to. If I can just change the camera view, because I don't like the default camera view. Uh, that's a little bit better. So as you can see, 
we're all set. We're coming in, and if you want, you can now just enjoy the views outside while it flies in over the city of Manchester. There's the Pennines behind us. And obviously at the moment, we've got a perfect clear day just for this first example. That looks good, doesn't it? So get back in the cockpit. My throttle's not quite set right because you can hear it moving from one detent to the other. That's better. But as you can see, we're just following the uh, the ILS down. We're in managed mode with the speed as well. The brakes are already armed. As I said, the landing gear's down. Spoilers are already armed. Uh, oh, that's interesting. The uh, engine mode selector should, of course, be in norm. But that doesn't really matter just for practicing a, uh, an approach. Now, this is a little fast on the approach, so if we want to just come out and manage this ourselves, just bring that back ever so slightly. I have discovered as well that what you can do is in your performance, if you go through the phases, you can actually set and manually set your approach speed. That's already set to 145, so set that to 140. And that should change it here on the uh, primary flight display. So we can pop that back in manage mode. But the main thing about this is obviously once we've done this landing, if everything's going well, we can just hit the restart button. And you don't have to fly the full traffic pattern. It's very quick to load because all this scenery is already cached in your PC, so you won't have to wait as long as you did the first time. But let's go ahead and just land this uh, land this aircraft for the first time, and then we'll set up a second landing and mess around with the weather a little bit. Now it is coming in a little bit too fast, so I am going to pull. Pull the airspeed back just a little bit. Okay, so let's do this last little bit manually. Knock off the autopilot. And realistically, there shouldn't be anything to do because there's no weather. There's very little wind. So, nothing affecting us. So, in theory, this should be the most perfect straight landing I've ever done. He says getting above the, gl the glide slope. So we'll go ahead and make this landing. And then let's make it a little bit more difficult. See the alarm went off there saying flaps were not set in takeoff configuration. Well, that's just because I'm using the uh, the flyby wire mod. It has a little bit of a conflict between the setup for landing and departing. Not if you're doing a full flight, of course. If you're doing a full flight, it works absolutely fine. But just because we brought the aircraft into the sim in the Microsoft default landing configuration and the flyby wire aircraft just doesn't quite compute that at the moment but it works fine so now all we have to do is hit the escape key and go down to the button at uh, the bottom and click restart flight will restart and you can do this over and over again without having to fly the full traffic pattern you can just practice the landings as many times as you want so we'll go ahead and just set another one up and of course you don't have to at the start if you don't want to you don't have to put the autopilot on you don't have to set up the ILS because particularly uh, when you've just got a clear sky like we had in the uh, that last landing you can just jump straight into the cockpit and look there we go we're quickly landed all ready to go again quickly landed quickly loaded all ready to go again so ready to fly so this time I'm going to pause that and once again get rid of the ATC just by switching frequency so 
I am definitely going to set up an ILS this time. So, flight plan. Arrival, runway 23, right. Insert that. Turn on the flight director, the landing system. Uh, autopilot 1, the approach button, the auto throttle. Pop the engines back in the climb detent. And let's just try, because you can see the flaps are there on, f they're marked full on the I'm actually going to just move my levers and put them between flaps three and flaps back to full again, just to see if we can get the uh, get rid of that alarm when we land. So there's the ILS, and everything's on. Okay. So unpressing the active pause, it does have a little bit of a wobble at the start, but it quickly brings itself back back round as we've not been paused for too long. Again, I'm just going to change the camera angle. There has to be a way to set the default camera angle. I'm sure there is, I've just not found it yet. If anyone knows how, please leave a comment. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the weather. So let's say we would like some clouds. In fact, you can do this within the active pause mode. So let's make it cloudy, rainy. Um, we could also add a bit of wind as well, couldn't we? So let's make it interesting. A bit more of a crosswind there. And you can see the aircraft moving around as we set that. Uh, there we go. Just go back to let's go back to the clouds and we can increase the coverage of those. And look at the altitude at the bottom, set that to 500 feet. So this will be a full automatic landing. So as you can see we take off active pause and it will just wobble just for a second. But that's fine. But now the aircraft is gonna fly a cat three. ILS landing. So we'll leave the aircraft to do as we will. Go outside and have a little bit of a look. You can see the crosswind there blowing the aircraft. You can of course play with the time of day as well and set yourself up in a, any given scenario that you're after. Put your piloting skills to the test without having to mess around with flying long traffic patterns. So yeah, we'll go ahead and make this landing. Fingers crossed. And uh, that's basically about it. That's how to set up landing scenarios very, very quickly over and over again. So that you can uh, practice what is arguably the most difficult point of, uh, of the flight. So how far away away? Six miles. I could stop the video now, You've, I've shown you what to do, but I'm sure you all want to see this aircraft land. Love the rain effects. Just see a hint of the ground down there. You can see the plane buffeting around in the wind that we've set. A little break in the sky. What you should be able to do is pop on both autopilots for a full Cat 3 landing, but that's not quite instigated yet. Sure, it will come. And we should drop out of the clouds in a moment. In which case, if we do get the runway in sight, we can knock the autopilot off One and uh, do the landing ourselves. I still can't see it. Oh, there it is. I can just about see the runway lights. And there's that plane wobbling around. You'd be worried, wouldn't you, if you were on a uh, if you were
if you were a passenger on this aircraft. But you can set the worst conditions imaginable and see how we'll put your pilot right, skills to the test. That's the beauty of the beauty of the sim. So I'm still on uh, still on the autopilot, I haven't taken Three. that off yet. We'll do that now. Oh, it was a heavy landing, but we're now. So there you go. Possibilities are endless. But you can obviously set the weather however you want it to be. We've got another little caution there. Telling us that the brakes were hot and that's because I've got full brake on there to uh, to slow the aircraft. Fantastic. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope this means that you'll be able to practice your landings much quicker and, uh, and perfect them much sooner. If you liked watching, please subscribe and I'll be adding more videos as more things come to the front and we can do a few more demonstrations and I also stream live flights as well that I do live on VATSIM, so uh, check those out as well if you want. Till now, until then, I shall see you again. Bye bye.